Hey guys, I know it's been a while since we've done a cooking video, but we and Keith are fixing to do this not chicken pot pie from the slow cooker. Okay, so I am going to tell you the ingredients while he puts them in the crock pot, because literally this is all you do with this meal. It's so easy. Okay, so we're going to put in, uh, we're going to put in three frozen chicken breasts. Well, actually, ours is kind of more or less thawed because I put them in, the, but they're still halfway frozen. <laughs> so we're just gonna put those into the uh, to the crock pot, and then he's gonna wash his hands. Okay, so now he's got his hands washed, and so now we're gonna put in two cans of 10.5 ounce condensed cream chicken soup. So he's, I got that red uh, spatula for you, baby, in case you need it. And then after that, he's gonna add in probably about a half a can of water. I was gonna use chicken broth, but I didn't have any chicken broth, so we're just gonna use water. Okay, so now he's just gonna add, but you know, just about the can half full of water. It's not anything precise on this part. The recipe really don't call for this, but to me, I just think it needs it. Because I did read on Dowd in it, and they said for more flavor, you could add chicken broth and stuff. So I just went ahead I'm gonna add like a half, just a half a can of this water in there since it's gonna be cooking for six to eight hours on low. Okay, then after that, we're gonna add four medium potatoes that I have peeled and diced up in small dices. And then after that, I've got a bag. It says two cups of peas and carrots, and they only had a bag that was like 12 ounces, so I just bought a 12 ounce bag of peas and carrots, and we're gonna add that, and we're gonna call that, we're gonna call that our, uh, our two cups. Okay, and then we're going to add one chicken bouillon cube. Now the bouillon cubes that I got is from Nor, and they're in the Spanish part of the store. Uh, Keith, did you show them how kind of how bigger they are? They, you know, the other it, those Wilders that come in the jar, I do not like those. These Nor like this, I love those. They're they're soft, they're not hard, so you just kind of break, crumble them up in there. And so that's what he's fixing to do is just crumble that up in there. Okay, and then we're going to add a teaspoon of uh, I'm sorry, a half a teaspoon of salt and a teaspoon of pepper. And then after we, it gets done, we'll taste it. And if we need more salt, we can always add more. But it's better to add less <laughs> and need more later than add too much. So we're gonna add a teaspoon, uh, half a teaspoon of salt and a teaspoon of pepper. Okay, and then it calls for a half a cup to one cup of shredded cheese for afterwards. And we're also gonna be cooking some biscuits for our crust. So for right now, we're fixing to stir this up, put the lid on it, put it on low, and we're gonna cook it for six to eight hours. Okay, y'all, it's done. Look in there, is that not looking so good? Okay, so we got that. We got that part ready. The last part fixing to go in the oven, and then we get to do a taste test. This will probably look even better. This is after I stir it and broke up all the chicken. Mm. And again, it's called Not Chicken Pot Pie. <laughs> it looks so good and smells wonderful. And I forgot to tell y'all, I also put in uh, two teaspoons of uh, onion powder. I forgot to do that on film. Okay, guys, it is ready. It smells and looks wonderful. Keith is going to taste it for us and let you know what he thinks about it, and then I'll taste it. Be good. Oh, okay. Now I'm going to taste it. Oh my gosh, y'all. The camera, I'm sorry, cut out when I tasted it, but I'm telling you, it is delicious. I will have the recipe link below. Only alterations I did to it was I added a half a can of water, half a can of the soup wa uh, water to the soup can. And I didn't tell you, but I also added, like I said earlier, two teaspoons of onion powder. And oh my gosh, it's delicious. Okay, y'all, I did forget to tell y'all that uh, the one alteration that we did not, or one thing we left out of the recipe is the cheese that it says you put on top of it. 
Uh, but we both decided we didn't want cheese on top of it. We just opened our biscuits like it said and scooped the not chicken pot pie on top and it is delicious the way it is. We didn't have to increase at any other uh, seasonings besides the half a teaspoon of salt that we added and the teaspoon of pepper and then we added two teaspoons of onion powder and that's all the seasons we added to it and I hope y'all enjoyed this as much as and y'all try this if you do let me know and or let us know <laughs> and we'll talk to you later bye